Hi people, this is Letty again. Okay, I got to manage more um, eggplants. As you see, look how beautiful. Uh, I've been putting a lot of nutrients on it, leaving their leaves full on the ground. And this thing was big, pretty big. This whole thing was with it, was the whole amount. And the seeds are very small. There wasn't even... They're not even good to use for uh, high for plant for replanting because um, the seeds are just babies. I could that means I could have left it more time if I wanted to, but um, it got big and I just um, I'm gonna make my husband um how you call it a uh, catfish with eggplant. It is delicious. I don't know if you know how it is, but I'll tell you how it works. Um, I put the pan, I put the sauce, the, how you call it, the salsa, the sauce, the tomato sauce. Ah, I got it. <laughs> and I add sofrito. Um, if you don't know what sofrito is, you could, I could leave it, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom and how you do it. I put garlic, minced garlic. The garlic, I buy them. And full pack, and then I just mince it down to can to uh, not cans, um, glasses. You know, I put them in glass jars. And why I do it this way? Because you could buy one. It's gonna cost you around three dollars. That's the same thing that a pack of um, garlic could they charge you? You know, like two dollars, three dollars. So what happens? I could get two bottles, two bottles of garlic, minced garlic, and I'll be saving myself another three dollars because we use a lot of garlic, so you know how it goes. But anyway, the way you do it, you do you put um you put these on. First you put the sauce, the sofrito, every ingredients you're gonna put like peppers, um how you call it, cilantro, perejil, all that stuff. You put them in there you kind of stir fry it a little bit, and then you put the, you know, you cut them up. I'm going to cut them up in half or in fourth, maybe in fourth. Um, you cut them up in, I'm going to do them in fourth, and but you could do it in half. Then you boil it all together, but first you have to take the codfish, boil the codfish. To, you know, my, I use the salty one. So I rinse it, then I boil the codfish, then I take it out of the water, and then I put it in here. That way it won't be too salty. If I want to use the water of the codfish, I could use it, you know, with a little bit of codfish and all-purpose flour, and I could make bacalaito. Bacalito, all you do is add the water, the all-purpose flour, um, some codfish in there, you beat it, and, you know, depends how the consistency you want. You know, you add a little um, coloring and, you know, whatever you want to add. And, uh, you know, like you like basil, um all these ingredients that you know you like, so then you just mix it and fry it, <laughs> and then you got bacalaito. So you know I could use it. That's what I'm planning to do with the water with the codfish. I'm gonna leave a little bit of codfish and I'm gonna make bacalaito on the side. So um, I'm gonna cut them up. You just cook it with the codfish and everything, and let the sauce um, I could get a little thicken. And you, this is very easy to, because it cooks very fast. The codfish is already cooked when you put it with this. So it turns into a good, delicious dinner. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but he likes it, so I do it for him. And besides, this is free. This is from my own tree. So I could, you know, and my dog loves it too. With a little bit of rice, I add some of this. He gobbles that up. So it's not going to go to waste. So that's all for now. God bless you all. Until next time. Bye.